Today we're learning in Illustrator to create a graphic for a historical figure with a quote like Malala Yousafzai for your English classroom or any other subject area. You can head to learn to learn more about Illustrator or create new. I'm going to use a print file. I'm looking at A4 and a horizontal proportion. I'm going to work in millimeters and then hit create. If you're Workspace looks a little different. Head up to Window, Workspace, and then choose the Painting Workspace. So you can have access to these menus and tools. We're going to start by drawing an ellipse. If you click and hold on the Rectangle tool underneath, you'll see a range of other shapes. Choosing the ellipse or the oval tool, I'm going to draw, click and hold to draw a shape for a face. Now looking up to my swatches palette, I'm going to take off the black outline by clicking none. Then on the fill, just going to fill that with a skin kind of tone. Next, we're going over to find the pencil tool. It's located under the paintbrush. If you can't see it already, it's the pencil tool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this face, which you can do using the zoom or the magnifying tool in the bottom of your toolbox. I'm going to draw the rough shape of a head scarf. Anytime you need to pause, start again from the last point, an illustrator will join your line. I'm going to pause, reposition my mouse, keep drawing around. Malala's face, bring it into here, then zoom back around her head. Give it a bit of shape and over the shoulder. You'll notice when you get back to the end, the pencil tool has a circle to say that it's enclosing the shape. Now, while I have my headscarf selected, over to the swatches palette. I'm going to choose a color down here. It's quite symbolic of Malala's headscarf. Now using the pencil tool again, this time I'm going to draw in some hair and then zoom back around and meet that shape. This one's going to be a darker colour. But the hair's in front, so selecting the headscarf up to object and arrange. I'm going to bring to front. Anytime you're unhappy with any of these curves, head to the white arrow tool, the direct selection tool. Click on the edge and move those anchor points somewhere you're happier with. I'm going to take this down over here. Now I'm going to use the pencil tool to fill in this section here with its white from her neck. Give that a slightly darker tone back up to object arrange. And this time we're going to send that to the back. Now a couple of facial features going to draw a line here and a line here. Use the black arrow to select both of those two. Finding my stroke palette, which if you don't have is under window stroke. You'll notice that there'll be a line in there. Mine is now currently two millimeters. Choose a line that has a slightly different profile with pointed ends. Making sure I'm on my stroke because it's just the line. Make those a little bit lighter for her. Using the white arrow tool to just lengthen those out a little. Then back to my pencil tool, just going to draw a simple shape some lips. 
removing the line and just filling those in a lighter color. Going to give Malala her recognizable outline on her headscarf by just drawing around the edge and giving that a stroke of yellow. Zoom out. Just adjust the head shape a little bit. Then using the type tool, going to draw a box over here next to Malala. Then I'm going to paste my quote into here. Select a highlight up to the character palette. I'm going to make that a little bit larger. There's the beginnings of my historical figure. Very inspirational quote from Malala Yousafzai.